How's it going, old blue? You miss me yet? Still on holidays. So, hi for everybody who's new. I'm Trucker Josh. This is Old Blue. Normally, I'm driving across the highways of Canada and the United States. I have been filming myself daily as I move through my career uh, every day for about 13, oh, 12, 13 years now. So, all of those videos are all in my playlist on my channel. Click my username down below if you want to go start from the beginning. I have them all. Uh, segregated into years you'll be able to tell easy to follow along that way today like i said we're still on holidays so this morning we took my son my wife and i with a couple of our friends and their son for a play date in a town called la brokery which is east of steinbeck in southeast manitoba they have an incredible uh playground there for all ages they have everything it's, it's wonderful so we went there had a great time now he's having his nap at home. So I'm grabbing a few things from the shop. We're getting ready to go for a Costco run this afternoon. I'm excited. So I'm picking up my cooler that I usually have in my truck, my bodega. It's like a fridge freezer combo. That way, if we get anything from Costco that needs to be kept cold or frozen, we can keep it cold and frozen on the way home and not worry about anything going bad or anything like that. Because we have to drive about an hour, at least a little over an hour to get to our nearest Costco. That's going to be fun. That's what we're doing this afternoon. But for now, we just came here to check on Old Blue and just, you know, the usual, just stare at her for a while. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll be back to trucking in about a week. But I have about another week left of holidays. So there'll be some more home time, home time content coming up. We do have to come here one of those days this week yet to do some work on Blue. Uh, for one thing, You'll see here the storage boxes behind the cab. You may have noticed already. Have these straps on here. That's because when I got the truck polished, uh, the bottoms of these uh, bins here, there's washers and bolts that hold them onto the frame. <clears throat> Those washers and bolts pulled through the steel on the bottom here, on both sides actually, unfortunately. It's an easy fix. I just need to come here and spend some time on it this week yet and get that fixed up. You may also notice something about my frame back here. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I have gone ahead and painted my own frame. I'm no professional painter and I, I didn't do like the most professional job or, or whatnot, but I figured, and I'm not done yet either, but. I figured since like large car truck spa got this truck so clean, now is the time. So I have some of this top coat, right? Top coat paint. And I've just been putting a couple of layers over the frame to cover up because it was a pretty rusty frame already. Mostly for aesthetics, just to make it look better, but it also you know seals it in a little bit. I think it looks a lot better painted. <laughs> what do you think? I'm happy with it. In the coming years, I was hoping to do it this year, but honestly, it's probably going to be next year. I have to get this whole frame actually sandblasted and repainted professionally. But until then, I mean, at least it's looking better, right? I still got to do the fifth wheel. Fifth wheel is a little harder to do because of all the grease. I want to get a greaseless fifth wheel eventually. Oh, I forgot to do this here. Oh, okay, I'll have to get that. Yeah, got on the inside there and everything. So it made me happy. Makes me feel like I am uh, <laughs> at least making something a little bit better for the time being, even if it's a band-aid, but... Oh, that's right, we bought dog food today. Okay, I'll have to take this inside first. The cool thing about uh, these terrains is this back here, so I'll be able to plug that cooler in back here. Probably have to clean it first. It's a little dusty in the truck. A little dirty in there. 
the wife, my wife, has higher standards. I don't think she's going to like all that. Dust and stuff in there. So I'll have to clean this first, and then we'll plug it right in there. And then we've got a fridge and freezer in here. Or we can take all of this out, like that. And we just got one big fridge or one big freezer, whichever we want. Alright, so I'm going to leave it as one big open space and cool it down to the temperature of the fridge. This is in Celsius, so we're going to go down to about 2 degrees Celsius. If it lets me. One second here. There we go. So it's going to cool it down to 2 degrees Celsius. Right now the temperature in there is 24. I love this bodega cooler. This is what I have in the truck with me. And like I said, when you put this like divider in there, that side is a freezer, that side's a fridge, or both sides are a fridge, or both sides are a freezer. But you can divide it. Or just keep it as one big open space, like I am right now. So I turn it on now so that it can start cooling down. We're going to leave in probably an hour or two, and then another hour drive to Costco, plus the time inside of Costco shopping. By the time we get out, this should be nice and cool ready to put stuff into. We made it. Right beside the cart return too, how handy is that? <laughs> we were just saying that, that's good and bad. It's dicey. Because people just throw their carts to the cart return, might hit your car, but at the same time when you get back and you're done grocery shopping, put the groceries in the car, the cart returns right there, I don't, I don't know. It was the only spot available to be honest. Oh, man. You guys scared me there for a second. I thought that uh, there was a crack in my lens. Man, don't do that to me. Oh, I've gone through so many GoPros over the years. Ah, they're so small and they're so easy to lose track of. I've had one stolen. My last one was stolen. It was a GoPro Hero 10. Uh, hey, maybe he's a follower of my channel now because I had like a full day of vlogs on the camera on the SD card and I uh, left my doors unlocked at Superstore in Steinbeck, where I live, sort of like Canadian Walmart. And uh, we get back to the to the car with our groceries and our young child and there's this suspicious guy like that was quickly, you know, getting into his vehicle beside us and drove off. I think he even said something like, hi, have a good day or something like that, but he's being like really weird. I was just like, oh, man, that was a weird guy. But I'm pretty sure I saw him walk around from our vehicle around to the driver's side of his vehicle. I was just thinking, man, that's really weird. Eh? And no kidding, I, got, I went in there, I left my camera in the center console there. I was gonna start vlogging when I got back into the vehicle. It was gone. The guys, I, it had to be that guy. I don't know who it was, but uh, hey, if you watched all my footage and figure out, figured out who I was, maybe he's a subscriber now, so maybe there's a silver lining to that, crowd, that cloud. Hope you enjoy my camera, buddy. I had to go and buy a new one right away that day, because yeah, I need to have one for work. I need to have one for uh, my vlogs here. But hey, that's a story all on its own. So today was more of just like an update vlog, as a lot of these holiday vlogs are. I'm just trying to fill you guys in what I'm up to on, on the daily here as I'm taking some time off, enjoying the summertime. You know, we'll be back in the truck before you know it. If you do want to watch some trucking videos, you can always go to my channel, go to my playlists. I have like 12 or 13 years of every day of me trucking. Back when I still had diesel with me, back when I still had hair, back when I was still single, before I met Brit. Like there's videos going way back to 2011. So if you guys want to watch some trucking stuff in the meantime, while I'm on vacation here, by all means, uh, go and do that. But don't worry, uh, I'll be back in the truck soon enough. Uh, so the update for today was Costco was absolutely insane. Is Costco like this everywhere? Because every time I've been to Costco in Winnipeg, it's an absolute gong show, to say it in like family-friendly terms. I don't want to go there. I, mean, I have this, we have this like platinum membership, and I don't want to go to Costco. I leave there feeling 
stressed out, full of anxiety, not good about myself, and I don't feel like I save a lot of money. Like we still spent over $400 and we didn't get that much. We got diapers for Theo. We got uh, just a couple of snacks. Like the snacks do come in like these massive big bags and that's kind of cool and get lots of it. But we have to drive an hour to get there, drive an hour back and the traffic inside of Costco is insane. We went at two o'clock on a weekday Two o'clock in the afternoon and it was packed isn't everybody supposed to be at work i thought like you know is everybody taking holidays at the same time as me what's going on it was insane i didn't even bring the camera in there i had it with me and i was like this is gonna be nuts there's nothing to film but you know people everywhere it was just chaos and everyone's got these massive carts right and you gotta be so careful because people are so aggressive they'll like almost run into your heels and stuff with their carts and they're, they get so close. I, I bet it happens all the time when people get their heels knocked out, taken out by some aggressive cart driver. It's like driving through the city in your car on steroids, except you're in a store and everyone's got a cart and everybody's full of stress and anxiety. And everybody wants to get out of there as fast as possible. And the lineups for the checkout, oh my. So there was two lineups that went all the way to the back of the store, just down the main aisle, on both sides of the aisle, right? There's no signs, because we don't go to Costco all the time. So this, we go like once a year. We should go more often to make our membership worth it, right? But we, uh, we've, we've gone like once a year. And uh, so we don't know what the lines are for, right? There's one on the right, there's one on the left. We're like, I guess they're going to the same place. I guess they're all going to checkout. So we wait in line for like whatever it took. Like it, it didn't move that slow. It felt like an hour, but it was probably like 20 minutes, 15 minutes with a toddler that didn't want to be in there either. So we had to keep him entertained in this lineup while we're not doing anything. And so we're extra stressed out, you know, by the time we get to the front. And then we get to the front and the lady's like, hey, you're in the self-checkout line. And she was, she was a little bit rude about it too. Like one of her employees there were like, because we wanted to go to the checkouts, uh, to the people checkouts. I mean, I don't work for them. I'm not getting paid by Costco. I don't want to scan my own groceries and my own stuff. I want them to do it. That's what they're there for. I don't work for you. <laughs> So we didn't want to go to the same checkout or to the self checkout. So we uh, we found out when we got to the front. She's like, uh, "This is a self checkout line." She's like, "All oh, snotty." I'm like, "But we we wanted to go in the the, the other checkout." So like, well, you've been in the wrong line this whole time. I'm like, well, then Britt piped up. She's like, "Well, you, we don't come here that often. You don't have signs anywhere back there. Like the lineup is a mile long. How are we supposed to know which lineup to get into? It looked like they're both going to the same place." And, Oh, she was a little bit snotty about it and she's like oh it's been that way for years like the employee there was talking to us like this has been this way for years you should know what line to be in me 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 like excuse me like i'm i know we're all stressed out here but you're supposed to be the the, the wet blanket you're supposed to be the one that's calming people down you're the employee <laughs> you're supposed to be keeping people calm why are you getting us more upset well anyways that was our experience there this was at the costco on uh uh on the southwest side of Winnipeg. It's off McGilvery, I believe, if you're familiar with Winnipeg. Oh man, it's just chaos. I didn't I didn't even bother bringing out my camera because, you know, we had to watch Theo and he uh, obviously needs to be entertained. He's a toddler. He's, he always wants to grab everything, touch everything, you know, normal toddler stuff. So you want to keep an eye on him, give him something to do, something to fiddle with all the time. And Plus you want to look around and you want to see what's there. And it's so hard to do that because it doesn't matter what aisle you go down, you can't really just stop. I mean, you have to stop to be able to look at the at the shelves, right? Uh, to, to grab stuff off the shelves. But whenever you stop, immediately, there's like this lineup of people with their carts behind you, waiting for you to move, all like giving you the, the stank eye. Like, how long are you gonna be? Hurry up there, hurry up, hurry up. I wanna get out of here, hurry up. It's like, it doesn't matter which aisle you go down, it's all jam packed full of people. So we couldn't even enjoy like window shopping or like looking around. You can't take your time. Everything's on the go, go, go. And when you do park somewhere just to take a look at something on the shelf, like I said, there's people getting angry at you right away and they got it all. Traffic's got to go around you. It's like you need another Costco in Winnipeg. That is what I'm getting at here. Steinbeck needs a Costco. The southeast region of Manitoba needs their own Costco. Believe me, it'll be just as busy as the Winnipeg ones. They will make so much money. Too bad the Costco executives don't watch my videos because I would say you would make so much money out here. There's a bunch of 
Mennonites out here that don't like spending money. They're all penny pinchers. Of course, they're all going to be at Costco. You're going to put Walmart out of business. If they can go buy it in bulk and go to Costco and save money, they'll be there. They'll bring the whole Hutterite colony with them too. They'll all be there. Like you could make a ton of money if you had one out here in the southeast of Manitoba. And one in Winkler. Winkler's another Mennonite city. Bunch of Hutterite colonies around there too. All a bunch of people. Like I, I have a Mennonite heritage, Mennonite background, like so I can talk about us this way. Like we're cheap. We're cheap. You say that we're gonna get a deal over there? You say that we can buy in bulk for cheaper? We will be there. We will show up with our entire family of two hundred relatives. You'll make money, but we're not gonna go all the way to the city and deal with that. We're country people. We're small town people. The Hutterites are even more secluded than we are. They live on their colonies. Like they, We don't want to go to the city and deal with all that. So anyway, this whole Costco rant here. I'm at like eight and a half minutes already. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> this Costco got me all wound up. But uh, <laughs> we need more. Even if Winnipeg had more, because every Costco you go to in Winnipeg is the same. It's just, is it is it like that wherever you guys are too? Wherever you are around the world, do they have Costco in other parts of the world, other than like when like U.S. and Canada? Well, whatever. Is it is it just chaos when you go there too? Because I'm just it is so packed. So that was that was my story. That was my Costco story. Uh, I, I looking back, I should have just like done like a panorama shot, just showing you all the people. But I felt like there were so many people everywhere that I felt it would just be like everyone would be staring at me even more. Like, why is this guy filming me? Get out of my face. Stop filming me. I didn't want to worry about that. All, all I was focused on was getting what we needed and getting out of there and keeping my kid entertained in the meantime. I didn't like it. I didn't have fun at all. I don't want to go back. I don't like Costco. I like what you can get there, but I don't like the whole experience. Do you like Costco? Do you go there regularly? I've been yapping for 10 minutes about this now, and I'm sorry. I have nothing really else going on. I'm on vacation. This is this is my story for today. This is my vlog for today. <laughs> You're welcome. This is the Costco rant that nobody asked for. But you got it anyways. You're welcome. So it's been going good. The weather's been great. We've been getting a lot done. A lot of projects got done. What have we all gotten done so far? We I fixed the garage door opener. It broke just before my holiday started. So I, I fixed that. The chain had snapped. So I, I put a new connector on there, a new uh, chain link on there. Fixed that when I first got home. Uh, we got the patio deck built for Theo the other day. We got that wasp nest removed. Oh, we're getting our fence finished in the back of our yard this week as well. That'll be a huge thing. Really excited about that. That's getting done on Friday. Um, cleaned up the house a bit, cleaned up the yard here. Uh, we went boating, we rented a boat, went fishing, caught nothing. It was, it was a great day. It was great. It would have been cool if we would have caught some fish, but we didn't have a lot of time because we kind of got rained out half the day. But, so I'm just sitting back here, feet up. This is your update. This is what I've been up to. Trucker on vacation. So. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me and tagging along on on this. Uh, it's been nice to just relax a bit. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Thanks for listening to my, my Costco rambles. <laughs> that place is hell. <laughs>